let's look at the second example of speed, time, and distance problem. Uh, as before, you want to make a table. And the question has two stages. One stage, Becky was riding a bike. And she was also running, so that's the other one. For each of the stages, we should put speed, distance, and time. Now the speeds are given, 24 for the bike, 8 for the running. And then uh, it's asking for how long did she bike. So let's, let's take this as x. That's the time that she took the bike. So let's put that here. Uh, now let's try to fill in the, the remaining ones. Uh, we have this time that she ran, and because the entire trip took two hours, and it was for x amount of time that she took the bike, it must be that 2 minus x that she took, uh, she, she ran. Okay? Right, and as before, uh, whenever you have these distance, time, speed problems, you, you need to remember the, the three formulas. Speed is distance over time. Distance is speed times time. And time is equal to distance over speed. And uh, here, because the empty spots are the distances, let's use this, which means you simply multiply these, multiply these, and you get you get to fill this missing part. Okay, so it's 24x. Distance is speed times time, so it's 8 times 2 minus x. Okay. After this, you should go back to the question and see if there's any number that you didn't make use of. In this case, 24, 8, 2, all of them appear here. The, this 2 is this 2. 8, 24, it's all used. If that's the case, then the next thing that you should do is to see if there's any equality between two things that you've missed. Okay. Now, it's a little hard to figure out what's equal to what if you just read the question. But if you actually draw the picture, then uh, it, it's, it gets more clear. Okay? So Becky was in spot A, and then she took the bike at 24 uh, four miles per hour to spot B and then she came back at 8 miles per hour so what's happening here well after drawing the picture you see that uh, she went to the same place and came back to the same place so this distance doesn't change in other words uh, the distance that she took the bike and the distance that she ran should be the same. Okay. So drawing pictures is often really helpful in word problems. In this case, we figured out that the two distances must be same just by drawing the picture. Okay, so that's what we have to do. We should solve this. 24x equals to 8 times 2 minus x. Uh, you could also, you could, although you could just multiply this out and solve, Let's take a shortcut. I think we can divide by 8 to make it e simpler. So 24 divided by 8 is 3x. 3x is equal to 2 minus x. So what's that? That's uh, uh, If I add x both sides, that's 4x on the left side, 2 on the right. Dividing by 4 both sides, we get x equals to 0.5. And uh, since x is the time that she took the bike, we're measuring time in hours. So the answer is 0.5 hours or 30 minutes. That's the answer. 